What's good? What's good? What's uh? <laughs> it's your boy K White, man. We back with another video today. I'm gonna be showing y'all my jump shot settings and the controller settings and the jump shot I'm using on my 64 and my 66 ISO build. It's nothing too complicated about these jump shots, bro. These been using for years, bro. Like for years, it's the old jump shot that everybody been using for years, man. Definitely go ahead and stay tuned for the whole video, man. I'm going to have the clips. I'm going to have some clips from the basketball guys. If y'all want to check out my live streams, my shorts that I just dropped, bro. Check them out, bro. Check them out, man. I'm telling you, this jump shot is working for both of my small guard and my tall guard build, man. Let's get right into it, though, man. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. I'm probably live right now as I'm doing this, man. You feel me? As this video is dropping, I'm probably live right on Twitch, man. But let's do it. Right now, I'm about to show y'all my controller settings, my everything, man. I'm about to show y'all the settings that I be using, man. This year's a little different from 2K24. Right now, I'm on high risk, man. Have y'all join on high risk to learn y'all jump shot, bro. Learn the timing. Learn the timing, man. I don't know how many times I have to stress this on stream and other videos everywhere, man. Put it on high risk reward. Yeah, you might go ahead and put it on difficulty based on them other settings, but you're going to make them whites and you not you know you don't know what you're making. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you're going to make. You know what I'm saying? Put your joint on high risk and go into my court or go to the Gatorade court right by the Gatorades. You know what I'm saying? Practice on them courts, man. Practice on them different settings that you can put it on and start your jump shot, man. My layup time is on real player percentage on this build just because I got a low layup on this. You know what I mean? And sometimes it goes in better than the timing, but I'm going right back to high risk. You hear me? Free throw is on user timing, of course, but this is different this year. Shot time and visual. I got it on push. I'm a set point type of dude. I like the early jump shots. I've always been an early jump shot, early timing type of dude, but I had to adapt to this whole different shooting this year. It's a whole different game when it comes to this dribbling and shooting, to be honest. So I had to go ahead and try push. I tried release. Release was just too, too late for me, man. On certain builds, release was just too late for me. Push has been working out the best for me, man. So make sure y'all go ahead and try push, man. Y'all can check out these jump shots. Try it in the my court. If you got a pro-am team, go ahead and try it in the little pro-am practice facility. Try it everywhere you want. You can even try it testing out your build, man. I got the build. Make sure y'all check out this build, too. It's a 6'4 demigod. Definitely got good defense. Definitely got everything it needs. Just check it out. Check out the attributes, man. Look at her. Look at her. You feel me? Now, right before I get into this jump shot, I'm about to show y'all some clips from the basketball gods from everything that I've been doing for the past, like, 24 hours. Now, the basketball gods was real cheesy. I just went in with randoms. I didn't even care about it. I didn't even care about it. I just went in to play, man, just casually just play, man. I went in with randoms. We ended up streaking a little bit. I can't lie. Look at me greening, man. A little quick set shots. They greening, man. I'm telling you. And I'm going to end it like this, man. Give me that. And a midi. Smash. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This build is definitely decent. 6'4", two-way. A 6'4", two-way demigod with a lot of strength. You hear me? I'm going to go ahead and shear him. Like, bring him back. And then I'm going to green it. Step back is easy, man. Zach Levine step back. That Zach Levine step back and a Tyrese Hilliburton John is definitely good. But I like I like the uh, Zach Levine better. I can't lie. Another green, chat. I'm telling you, man. Another green right there, man. Well, let's get into the jump shot. I'm about to show y'all the jump shot right now for both builds. Real easy, real simple, man. You can't complicate this. I'm telling you, it's been out. This is my 6-4 jump shot right here, man. You really can't complicate this, man. Allen Iverson base. Seth Curry release one. Release two, Oscar Robinson. But look, I went release all the way with Oscar Robinson. There's no point in even adding no other release if you had Oscar Robinson as one of the releases. I'm going to just be honest, man. Look at the everything on the right side, on the bottom right side. Everything is A plus damn near. The time and stability this year, I don't even pay attention to that. Because I just had a, a time and stability on one jump shot and I was greening on F. You feel me? Like, I don't really pay attention to the time and stability. If you can really visually see and green it, look where it gets to the head. Where it gets to your head, right before the push emotion. That's when you release. I'm telling you. Right before you push that ball to go to the release emotion. Right when it gets to your head. Shrink. You release that ball, man. You're going to green every time. So y'all go to the my court, go to Pro-Am, go to wherever court, go to the Gatorade court. I suggest y'all go to the Gatorade court, bro, because that's where the real life latency is at. If you got a little delay or anything, you'll be able to know right there for real time. I can't lie, especially for the park situations, theater, you know what I mean? Go to the Gatorade court. That's where I go check out my jump shots, test these jump shots that I give y'all. You know what I'm saying? It works out for me. It works out for me, man. 
But we about to go to my 6-6 six, six real quick. Let's go to my 6-6 six, six build, man. Now, my 6-6 six, six ISO build, same things. I go to the controller settings. I got the same settings. Everything is the same, man. I don't change anything really too much on any of the other builds, man. I try to keep it the same thing because it's pretty much the same jump shot. It's pretty much the same jump shot. I tell you, you cannot complicate this. I got the playmaking moves. If y'all want a 6-6 six, six ISO build, you know what I mean? I already got the build video out. Check it out if y'all need to. I'm going to change this to Alex Caruso, though. That's been helping me out with my small guard a lot when it comes to the quick stops. Let's check out the jump shot real quick. I got Isaiah Collier for the base, Oscar Robinson, and Troy Brown Jr. for the release, man. Like I said, though, there's no need to put another release for real to me for another release if you got Oscar Robinson. So I just go ahead and I'm going to just blend it all the way out to Oscar Robinson on this one, man. But I got it to the 70-30 split. It has been working out. Like, I don't really see a difference, honestly. It's like the same kind of build. I mean, same kind of jump shot. But I'm going to go ahead and blend it out anyway, honestly, on this build because it's like, yo, it's the same, bro. It's literally the same jump shot I got on my small guard. So I'm going to go ahead and just 100 it all the way to Oscar Robinson. Test out the 70-30, uh, the John, if y'all want to. It's been working out for me, but I'm going to go ahead and definitely put it all the way to 100% Oscar Robinson. This is something I'm going to show y'all too, man. I'm going to show y'all some of my settings for this as well, man, because this has definitely been helping me ever since I changed it. Visibility for shots off. Definitely have your jump shot off. I don't know what y'all doing, man. This year is different. Take your jump shot off, man, before y'all make me mad, man. Visibility on all shots. All shots, baby. Distance, turn that off. I don't need to know the distance on my shots, man. I'm greening everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to know the distance. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to know that, man. But y'all go ahead and copy and paste. Do whatever y'all need to do when it comes to the shot feedback, the shot meters, and everything, man. I just like to go ahead and green it, and I like to know what all of my shots are doing. Layups, dunks, everything. You feel me? That's why I got the shot feedback on all, man. But definitely y'all go ahead and follow me on Twitch, man, at IK White. Hit the like and subscribe on this video. I'm going to keep dropping these videos, man. I'm going to keep dropping these build videos. I'm going to keep dropping these jump shot videos. I heard it's been helping y'all. Some of y'all in the comments telling y'all, I mean, telling me that it's been helping y'all a lot, man. And if y'all keep wanting me to drop these joints, just keep liking these video up, man. Let's try to get to like, uh, I don't know, man. Let's try to get to a million likes on this video, man. I don't care, man. Let's try to get to a million likes on this video, man. Definitely catch me live here, IKY Live, or catch me live for the full stream on Twitch, man. I'm always on Twitch. We've been hitting certain milestones lately, man, and I'm really trying to get on my Twitch grind. I should have been on my Twitch grind, but you all know YouTube is my main platform. We are live on TikTok as well, man. We do go live on TikTok as well. It's, we lit, we trying to be lit everywhere, honestly, man. By the time 2026, when GTA 6 drops and all that good stuff, NBA 26 and all that good stuff drops, we should be where to we where we need to be. You hear me? Everybody, I love y'all, man. I will see y'all in the next video. I'll see you on the next live stream. Bye bye.